The gospel text of today is taken from the gospel of John chapter 16 verses 20 to 23. And in these verses, Jesus speaks once again about his departure. He is preparing his disciples to live independently. He is preparing his disciples to live without him. He is preparing his disciples to follow him and to follow his path even when he is not physically present with them. And so therefore in these verses he speaks about how they will weep and they will moan. That they will feel his absence and he compares his absence and this whole episode to a woman in childbirth. And when a woman is with child and as she delivers the child, the woman goes through a great amount of pain. But that pain turns to joy when the child is born because she has become along with the husband a co-creator in God's work of redemption. And so the joy that she experiences overcomes the pain of childbirth and she forgets about that pain because now a new life is born. Jesus speaks of himself as dying and being crucified, as being laid in the tomb and that part would be to the pain compared with the pain which the disciples will go through, which the woman goes through. However, death is necessary for Jesus. However, the pain is necessary for the woman because it is through the pain that the child is born. It is through his death that the Lord is raised. If the Lord were to simply remain with the disciples, he would live till an old age and would have to die someday because Jesus is human. And yet, if he is obedient to the Father's will, if he does at every moment what the Father requires, including if it means going to the cross, then the Lord will because he knows that it is only through the cross that he can be raised by the Father and the Father did raise him. It is then that the sorrow of the disciples, that the pain of the disciples will turn to joy because like in the case of a woman who has given birth to new life and become a co-creator with God, now the disciples will experience not merely the historical Jesus, but they will experience the anointed of God, the Christ of God as the risen Christ, as the cosmic Christ. We too go through challenges in our lives. We too go through travails. We too go through difficulties. And there are times when the pain is too much to bear. At those times, we are tempted to give up. At those times, we are tempted to give in. At those times, we are tempted to ask, Lord, where are you? And why do I have to go through this ordeal? It is at those times that we hear the words of the Lord to us like he spoke it to the disciples when he says, your sorrow will turn to joy and that joy no one will take from you because it is a joy that the Lord himself will give. Will I be resilient? Will I be strong? in the face of any challenge I face today.